Hi guys, Holly Peters from Tertiary Tutoring here, and today we're going to be looking at the differences between intraperitoneal, extraperitoneal, and retroperitoneal organs. First thing we should do is look at our diagram and orientate ourselves. This yellow circle is representing an axial slice through the abdomen. Over on the right hand side we've got our navigator defining the anterior, posterior, right and left directions. And on the left, on the sorry, on the right hand side here is a list of topics to go through. First one on the list is actually talking about what the peritoneum is. The peritoneum is a layer or a lining on the inside of the cavity. It's made up of a combination of epithelium and connective tissue. And the way that it encapsulates an organ defines whether it falls into the intra or extra peritoneal cat category. Intraperitoneal is the first one here, and as intra implies, it's within the cavity. So kind of like that. The peritoneum actually surrounds it like so. This kind of encapsulation means that it's more mobile within the abdominal cavity, but it still has an anchorage point towards the posterior wall. Examples of these types of organs include the stomach, liver, spleen, jejunum, ileum, and transverse colon. The other type of organs that we have are extra peritoneal organs. A true example of this one is the urinary bladder. It's on the outside of the peritoneum, but we find it in the pelvic cavity, and it's more inferior. A subcategory is actually retroperitoneal organs. These ones are also outside the peritoneal cavity, but we find them along the posterior wall. A really good example of this is the kidneys. So if we draw our right and left kidneys over here and cover them with the peritoneum like so, you can see how they're encapsulated within the peritoneum, but pressed up against the posterior wall. This makes them immobile, um, and it includes other organs like the ascending and descending colon, kidneys, aorta, and inferior vena cava. It's important to know that some organs, different parts of them, might be considered intra or extraperitoneal, and a good example of this is the duodenum. So let's just do a quick recap. Intraperitoneal organs are found on the inside of the peritoneal cavity. Extraperitoneal organs are found on the outside of the peritoneum, and they have a subcategory called retroperitoneal organs, and they are on the outside of the peritoneum and found against the posterior wall. I hope you learned something today, and I look forward to seeing you guys again. Thanks.